Hi everyone, uh, today I continue with my uh, series of videos that I am uh, making on the topic of tugboat and uh, explaining the different features of a tugboat. So uh, in my previous video I talked about uh, the different types of tugboats that are there and in today's video I'll talk about the specifications of a tugboat. Uh, if you missed my previous video you can find the link to the previous video in the description section below. So before I go into the specifications of a tugboat, I want to talk about the functions of a tugboat. So tugboats, uh, as I told in my previous video, they play a main role uh, of helping uh, large size ships go in and out of berths. And the functions of tugboats uh, have been diversified in accordance with the size of ships. Uh, so exclusive usage of tugboats have been uh, shown recently in towing purpose, guiding or guarding purpose. I'll talk about that as well and uh, the exclusive usage supports the reduction of shipbuilding cost and this is because exclusive tugboats are used separately in case of speed or power required for vessels now the functions of a tugboat may be summarized into the following so they can be used for the berthing and unberthing of ships or moving ships in and out of the berth uh, they can be used for uh, guiding the ships especially in case of dangerous cargo such as uh, liquid natural gas, uh, LNG and uh, LPG. So they can be used for uh, specific purposes. They can stand by during dangerous operations, during the loading of dangerous cargo. Uh, in case there's any fire, they may be used uh, handy for firefighting purposes. They can be used for uh, docking purposes, docking the vessels uh, into dry docks or into shipyards they can be used for uh, emergency towing operation or salvaging or towing a wrecked ship uh, they can be used if uh, let's say the ship is supposed to unberth and the engines are not working and the ship needs to move out of the berth then they can be used for that purpose they can be used for uh, towing operations in emergencies such as uh, um, uh, a vessel having a rudder breakdown um, and not being able to steer then they can be used for anchor handling purposes and uh, they can be used for uh, guarding ships during loading and unloading activity so a meaning of that could be that there could be certain cargo operations such as uh, loading of heavy lifts cargoes which may provide uh, undue list uh, or create other complications uh, which may require uh, some kind of assistance from externally so that is also when tugboats are, can be used. All right, so these are the different functions of a tugboat. So if I have missed any, feel free to mention it in the comment section. The idea behind this is we can all learn from one another. I am not expert of any topic that I put up a video on. All right, so let's get into the main topic for today. And that is uh, specifications of a tugboat. So normally tugboats, as you can see in the pictures, uh, compared to bigger commercial ships, they are much smaller, but they are sturdier and stronger boats. So they get, they, they, that's why they are useful in guiding large size ships from the entrance of the harbor all the way up, up to the uh, berth. That could include transits through rivers, narrow canals, or even seaports. Now, when the ship is again ready to unberth, they are again used to uh, unberth them and guide them back into the sea outside the harbor limits. Now, this kind of work that the tugboats do is especially important if the, let's say you have a river passage, like if you go to ports like Shanghai, uh, they have long river passages. Many ports in China do have long river passages. They are busy, a lot of ships coming in and going out. Uh, or if the river has uh, strong currents or uh, tricky tides, then tugboats are also helpful uh, in pushing boats in trouble to safety. Tugboats also help when work is being done in the harbor or along the river. They may tow barges or other equipment into place or later help move equipment as required. Tugboats, as you can see, they range in size from about 70 to 210 feet in length. Uh, many tugboats are made of wood or metal sheathed wood. The wood has some uh, give to it and protects both the tugboat and the boat being pushed from being damaged. So kind of like a cushioning effect. Uh, a tugboat engine generates uh, about 750 to 3000 horsepower. Uh, in the early days of the tugboats, most engines were powered by steam, but today most engines are diesel or diesel electric. Um, and uh, tugboats can also be used for many river passages. So if you go into American waters, you can see that the tugboats are actually helping move 
millions of dollars worth of products up and down the rivers uh, for any kind of business to take place. Uh, the specifications of the tugboat, as you can see, are there on your screen. Uh, make yourselves familiar right from the top where you start with the range lights, the radar scanner, the radio antenna, which can be found on commercial ships as well. Then you have search lights, whistle lights, you have the pilot house, the loudspeaker, the capstan on the poop deck, you have the uh, bow rake, bits, headlock, tony, deck button, upper deck, main deck, engine room, stern lights. So many of these terms you will be uh, very familiar with because uh, these terms are also used on big commercial vessels. Uh, but the important thing here, you can see that in the aft part and the forward part is shown separately. So you can see in the aft part, you have the towing winch uh, used for towing purposes. You have the freeing port through which the wire is passed. You have the bulwark. They provide all strengthening. So bulwarks uh, and uh, tow span, they, uh, they provide the strengthening. Uh, the tow span takes the load of the towing wire, also helps in guiding the tow, it helps in keeping the forces centralized so that the maneuvering of the tugboat is not affected uh, so otherwise you have the mooring bits and all that so you are pretty uh, uh, you can see that they're pretty self-explanatory i don't have much to talk about except for the strengthening factors the cushioning factors the bow and the uh, stern both have uh, uh, construction uh, that allows the load the forces to be absorbed by the tugboats so that the tugboat doesn't get affected because when the tugboat is involved in any kind of towing pushing pulling uh, guiding operations they take a lot of force it's not easy to uh, guide uh, massive ships those big commercial ships uh, and it generates a lot of force so you have to be very aware of the forces that are generated during these operations uh, only authorized person should be around uh, these areas uh, because if something goes wrong it can lead to catastrophic accidents uh, also in choosing a tugboat, um, in literature, the effect of these ships on the whole maritime economy is often neglected. Uh, but in fact, their value, values of paramount importance in maneuvering during bad weather conditions in limited areas of ports. Uh, each port has its own particular features which determine the way the tugs are used. So normally uh, the following conditions are crucial when uh, the tugs are being chosen and used. So firstly, the volume of uh, traffic in the ports and the types of ships serving the port and navigational obstacles found in the port, uh, conditions of environmental protection, uh, local laws and habits, available sizes and type of tugs and experience of crew serving them. Uh, so that is pretty much uh, uh, all about tugs uh, in this second video. I'll put up more videos on tugboats um, because these are some different type of vessels, uh, but these days seafarers are commonly finding job on them. And uh, again, I know they are not providing detailed information, but they provide uh, some information for you to just prepare maybe for a job interview or just to make yourselves familiar before you go on tugboats. Uh, there are simulator courses available, of course, specifically for tugboat operations, and you can do them. Uh, let me know uh, whether uh, these use videos are being useful or not. I, I look forward to your feedback, even though it may be critical, it may be um, uh, you may like to suggest some ways to improve these videos. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. All the best for your studies and see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.